In the intricate tapestry of modern defense, few programs embody the United Kingdom's aspirations for global influence and military primacy as vividly as its commitment to the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. As of October 2024, the UK has taken delivery of 37 of the 48 F-35B aircraft ordered under Tranche 1, a cornerstone of the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy's joint vision for a reinvigorated carrier strike capability. The short takeoff and vertical landing variant, tailored for operations from the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, represents not merely a procurement, but a strategic wager on technological superiority, industrial partnership, and geopolitical alignment. With a projected full operating capability by December 31, 2025, and a planned exit from the government major projects portfolio by March 2026, the program stands at a critical juncture, balancing operational successes against persistent challenges in software integration, cost management, and strategic autonomy. The F-35B program is a linchpin of the UK's defense modernization, reflecting a commitment to field a fifth-generation stealth fighter capable of operating in contested environments. The 37 aircraft delivered thus far, at a cost of £3.36 billion for the first 35, underscore the program's scale and ambition. The per-aircraft cost has decreased significantly from early lots to approximately £88.8 million by 2020, a testament to economies of scale and the UK's privileged position as a level one partner in the F-35 program. This partnership, which sees British firms like BAE Systems and Rolls-Royce contribute 15% of each aircraft's value, secures thousands of high-skilled jobs and ensures London's influence over the platform's development. The decision in June 2025 to procure an additional 27 aircraft under Tranche 2, comprising 15 F-35Bs and 12 F-35As, signals a pragmatic evolution in strategy. The F-35As, optimized for land-based operations and NATO's nuclear mission as dual-capable aircraft, reflect a broader ambition to enhance interoperability with allies while addressing the RAF's need for longer-range, higher-payload platforms. Yet, the long-term goal of acquiring 138 aircraft, reaffirmed in the 2024 Strategic Defense Review, remains contingent on future fiscal and strategic priorities particularly as the future combat air system looms on the horizon. Operationally, the F-35B has begun to prove its mettle, though not without incident. The aircraft have been deployed aboard HMS Prince of Wales during NATO's exercise Steadfast Defender in March 2024, demonstrating their integration into the UK's carrier strike group. Further afield, the jets logged nearly 600 flying hours during exercise Talisman Sabre in Australia in July 2025, showcasing their reach and versatility in Indo-Pacific operations. A clear nod to the AUKUS Pact and Britain's pivot toward countering Chinese influence. However, an emergency landing in Thiruvananthapuram, India on June 14, 2025, following a technical fault, exposed vulnerabilities in the fleet's operational readiness. The jet, repaired over 37 days and returned to the UK by July 22, highlighted the logistical complexities of sustaining advanced platforms far from home. Such incidents underscore the fragility of deploying cutting-edge systems in austere environments, a challenge compounded by a persistent shortage of qualified pilots. As of late 2022, only 30 pilots were trained to operate the F-35B, a bottleneck that threatens the readiness of 809 Naval Air Squadron and the broader carrier strike ambition. The program's technical challenges are no less daunting. Delays in Lockheed Martin's Block 4 software upgrade, critical for integrating UK-specific weapons like the Meteor missile and Spear 3, have frustrated the Modi's timeline. These delays, while not impacting Tranche 1 deliveries, highlight the UK's dependence on a US-led supply chain and raise questions about the pace of capability development. 
A £161 million contract signed in April 2023 with Lockheed Martin and BAE Systems for maintenance and training until 2027 reflects efforts to mitigate these risks, but the absence of a firm timeline for weapons integration remains a point of contention. Moreover, speculation about a US-controlled kill switch embedded in the F-35's Alice Odin logistics systems has fueled debates about operational sovereignty. While the MoD asserts full autonomy, the political sensitivity of relying on American technology in an era of great power competition cannot be overstated. Strategically, the F-35B program is more than a military asset. It is a statement of intent. The aircraft's role in NATO missions and Indo-Pacific deployments underscores Britain's desire to project power and maintain relevance in a multipolar world. The decision to procure F-35As, while pragmatic, has sparked debate among defense commentators. Critics argue that diverting resources from the carrier-centric F-35B risks diluting the Royal Navy's strike capability, particularly as HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales define Britain's maritime resurgence. Supporters, however, see the F-35A as a necessary complement enhancing the RAF's ability to meet NATO commitments while preserving the F-35B for naval operations. This tension reflects broader questions about the UK's defense priorities. Should it prioritize global power projection or regional deterrence? The 2024 Strategic Defense Review offers little clarity, deferring decisions on the full 138 aircraft target to mid-decade assessments, likely influenced by the development of the Global Combat Air Program. Economically, the F-35B program remains a boon for British industry. The involvement of BAE Systems and Rolls-Royce not only sustains jobs, but positions the UK as a key player in the global aerospace market. Exports of F-35 components to allies like the US, Japan, and Israel reinforce this economic dividend, even as domestic debates over defense spending intensify. The program's critics, including the campaign against arms trade, point to the opportunity costs of such investments, particularly in light of strained public finances. Yet, for proponents, the F-35B's blend of stealth, sensor fusion, and interoperability is non-negotiable in an era where adversaries like China and Russia field increasingly sophisticated systems. As the UK approaches the 2025 FOC milestone, the F-35B program stands as a microcosm of Britain's broader defense dilemmas. Ambition tempered by resource constraints, autonomy shadowed by alliance dependencies, and technological promise tested by operational realities. The emergency landing in India, the pilot shortage, and software delays are not mere footnotes, but warnings of the complexities inherent in fielding a transformative platform. Yet, the successful deployments in NATO and Indo-Pacific exercises demonstrate the F-35B's potential to anchor Britain's strategic vision. For policymakers, the path forward demands a delicate balance. Sustaining industrial benefits, ensuring operational readiness, and navigating the geopolitical currents that define the 21st century. The F-35B, for all its challenges, remains a potent symbol of Britain's resolve to remain a Tier 1 military power, its stealthy silhouette a reminder that even in the fog of uncertainty, ambition endures.